Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, I want to show you how I'll be measuring the cylinder to find the next size piston to get it ready for boring. So basically, I need to measure this diameter, the inside diameter of this bore, and stock size for the blasters, Yamaha blaster is 66 millimeters. So there's one way to measure is getting these telescope gauges and what you do is you can get a cheap set harbor fright work just just as good to get you a rough location where you're at so basically they have a few different sizes since piston is around 66 millimeters 54 to 90 is will just just do fine so we'll measure with this telescope gauge so basically what you do is you unlock it right here a little bit and it opens up and what you do is you leave it unlocked then you put it inside at an angle like that then you lock it off then you move this telescope gauge to a center position then you over push it to the other side basically there you got it now what you do is you grab calipers we're measuring around 66.3 66.3 roughly around there and we'll do a few more measurements in uh, a different direction let's say if we measured across across from cylinder to exhaust I mean from exhaust to intake let's just do a 180 move and uh, I mean a 90 degree move and just measure this way so basically what you do is you unlock it it'll open up you slightly compress it to get it in there because if you do it too much then it's hard to push it kind of tries to lock on you so you go in at an angle and what you do is you move to the center point You snug the top right here. So let's go over center and just straight out. Don't go back and forth because this gives you a chance for a mistake. So you just grab your calipers and you measure again. So I'm measuring 66.13. So for me, this shows this is oval. So let's do a slightly different location and go a little bit lower. I'm gonna grab the calipers and we'll measure one more time. So this was shown 66.25 millimeters. So we know this thing is at a round. And then to find out how much you need to clear all the mess ups, let's say if you have scars inside your bore, and you need to figure out because you want that to be cleaned out once you take it to a machine shop and have it bored out and to hone it so you have all the, the imperfections removed. So you, you look and you measure, maybe you can even throw a telescope gauge right into that spot. But remember, you have to divide that by two because that will give you the distance because it's going to be cutting on two sides, if you if you know what I mean. So let's say it's over, um, let's say one mil. So let's say it's deep on this side, one millimeter in. So that means you need to get a, a piston that's two millimeters oversize because you'll remove one millimeter on this side and one millimeter on this side. That will give you a two millimeter bigger. So if you have a stock bore, you'll go to a 68. So I'll inspect this and I'll see what kind of damage I got. Basically on that exhaust port, you can see where I have a little damaged spot right there oh 
also when you want to send this cylinder out you have to remove all the studs for the head so I had all that removed just remove everything you can I just removed all this and clean it all up as as clean as possible and basically you can get these cheap they're they're not that expensive I mean they're good to have around the house they're probably around like 15 bucks and this thing's around the telescope gauges are about the same price and good to have if you mess around with things like that so if you like this channel and you like what you see subscribe support it'll help us out to do more projects and if you have any suggestions on videos or something you want to know or something you want to find out just let me know leave a comment email me stay tuned for more thank you peace